The Commands of Jesus, as recorded in the Holy Gospel of Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Blessed are you when men hate you, and when they exclude you and revile you, and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. Rejoice in that day, and leap for joy. Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you and pray for those who spitefully use you. If someone slaps you on one cheek, turn to them the other also. If someone takes your coat, do not withhold your shirt from them. Give to everyone who asks you, and if anyone takes what belongs to you, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. Love your enemies, do good and lend, hoping for nothing in return. Be merciful, just as your Father also is merciful. Judge not, and you shall not be judged. Condemn not, and you shall not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will be put into your bosom. For with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. First remove the plank from your own eye. And then you will see clearly to remove the speck that is in your brother's eye. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Consider carefully how you listen. Whoever has will be given more. Whoever does not have, even what they think they have, will be taken from them. Daughter, be of good cheer. Your faith has made you well. Go in peace.
Don't be afraid. Just believe, and she will be healed. Take nothing for the journey. No staff, no bag, no bread, no money, no extra shirt. Whatever house you enter, stay there until you leave that town. If people do not welcome you, leave their town and shake the dust off your feet as a testimony against them. If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Whoever receives this little child in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives him who sent me. For he who is least among you all will be great. Do not forbid him, for he who is not against us is on our side. Let the dead bury their own dead, but you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Therefore pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go your way. Behold, I send you out as lambs among wolves. Carry neither money bag, knapsack, nor sandals, and greet no one along the road. But whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this house. And if a son of peace is there, your peace will rest on it. If not, it will return to you. And remain in the same house, eating and drinking such things as they give, for the labourer is worthy of his wages. Do not go from house to house. Whatever city you enter, and they receive you, eat such things as are set before you, and heal the sick there, and say to them, The kingdom of God has come near to you. But whatever city you enter, and they do not receive you, go out into its streets and say, The very dust of your city which clings to us we wipe off against you. Nevertheless, know this, that the kingdom of God has come near to you. Do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. When you pray, say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us day by day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who is indebted to us, and do not lead us into temptation but deliver us from the evil one. Our 
Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. Take heed that the light which is in you is not darkness. But now, as for what is inside you, be generous to the poor and everything will be clean for you. Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy, for there is nothing covered that will not be revealed, nor hidden that will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have spoken in the dark will be heard in the light, and what you have spoken in the ear, in inner rooms, will be proclaimed on the housetops. My friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. But I will show you whom you should fear. Fear him who, after he has killed, has power to cast into hell. Yes, I say to you, fear him. Do not fear, therefore. You are of more value than many sparrows. Now when they bring you to the synagogues and magistrates and authorities, do not worry about how or what you should answer or what you should say, for the Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say. Take heed and beware of covetousness, for one's life does not consist in the abundance of the things he possesses. Do not worry about your life, what you will eat, nor about your body, what you will put on. Life is more than food, and the body is more than clothing. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which have neither storehouse nor barn, and God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. And yet, I say to you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then God so clothes the grass, which today is in the field and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O you of little faith? Do not seek what you should eat, or what you should drink, nor have an anxious mind. For all these things the nations of the world seek after, and your Father knows that you need these things. Seek. 
Seek the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added to you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give to the poor. Provide purses for yourselves that will not wear out, a treasure in heaven that will never fail, where no thief comes near and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Be dressed ready for service, and keep your lamps burning, like servants waiting for their master to return from a wedding banquet, so that when he comes and knocks, they can immediately open the door for him. Be ready, because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. When you go with your adversary to the magistrate, make every effort along the way to settle with him, lest he drag you to the judge, the judge deliver you to the officer, and the officer throw you into prison. Make every effort to enter through the narrow door, because many, I tell you, will try to enter and will not be able to. When someone invites you to a wedding feast, do not take the place of honor, for a person more distinguished than you may have been invited. If so, the host who invited both of you will come and say to you, Give this person your seat. Then, humiliated, you will have to take the least important place. But when you are invited, take the lowest place, so that when your host comes, he will say to you, Friend, move up to a better place. Then you will be honored in the presence of all the other guests. For all those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. When you give a luncheon or dinner, do not invite your friends, your brothers or sisters, your relatives or your rich neighbors. If you do, they may invite you back, and so you will be repaid. But when you give a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed. Whoever has ears to hear, let them hear. Use worldly wealth to gain friends for yourselves, so that when it is gone, you will be welcomed into eternal dwellings. If your brother sins against you, rebuke him, and if he repents, forgive him. And if he sins against you seven times in a day, 
and seven times in a day returns to you saying, I repent, you shall forgive him. So likewise ye, when ye have done all those things which are commanded you, say, We are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty to do. Arise, go your way. Your faith has made you well. Behold, the kingdom of God is within you. The time is coming when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man, but you will not see it. People will tell you, there he is, or here he is. Do not go running off after them, for the Son of Man in his day will be like the lightning, which flashes and lights up the sky from one end to the other. But first he must suffer many things and be rejected by this generation. It will be just like this on the day the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, no one who is on the housetop with possessions inside should go down to get them. Likewise, no one in the field should go back for anything. Listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones, who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? Let the little children come to me, and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of God. Assuredly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will by no means enter it. Sell all that you have and distribute to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. And come, follow me. Receive your sight. Your faith has healed you. Give then unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and to God those which are God's. Beware of the teachers of the law. They like to walk around in flowing robes and love to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces and have the most important seats in the synagogues and the places of honour at banquets. They devour widows' houses and for a show make lengthy prayers. These men will be punished most severely.
Take heed that you not be deceived. For many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time has drawn near. Therefore do not go after them. But when you hear of wars and commotions, do not be terrified, for these things must come to pass first, but the end will not come immediately. Settle it in your hearts not to meditate beforehand on what you will answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries will not be able to contradict or resist. You will be betrayed, even by parents and brothers, relatives and friends, and they will put some of you to death, and you will be hated by all for my name's sake, but not a hair of your head shall be lost. By your patience, possess your souls. When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then know that its desolation is near. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let those who are in the midst of her depart, and let not those who are in the country enter her. For these are the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. There will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. On the earth, nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of the sea. People will faint from terror, apprehensive of what is coming on the world, for the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time, they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to take place, stand up and lift up your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. When they sprout leaves, you can see for yourselves and know that summer is near. Even so, when you see these things happening, you know that the kingdom of God is near. But take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with caressing, drunkenness, and cares of this life, and that day come on you unexpectedly for it will come as a snare on all those who dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch therefore, and pray always, that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. Take this, and divide it among yourselves. For I say to you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. He who is greatest among you, let him be as the younger, and he who governs as he who serves.
But now, he who has a money bag, let him take it, and likewise a knapsack. And he who has no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. For I say to you that this which is written must still be accomplished in me, and he was numbered with the transgressors. For the things concerning me have an end. Pray that you may not enter into temptation. Why do you sleep? Rise and pray, lest you enter into temptation. Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days will come when men shall say, Blessed are the barren, and the wombs that never bear, and the paps which never gave suck. Then shall they begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For if they do these things to a green tree, what shall be done to the dry? Peace be with you. Why are you troubled? And why do doubts arise in your hearts? Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see. For a spirit does not have flesh and bones, as you see I have. I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high. The Commands of Jesus As recorded in the Acts of the Holy Apostles Written by Luke Wait for the gift my Father promised Which you have heard me speak about For John baptised with water but in a few days, you will be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Do not call anything impure that God has made clean. Do not be afraid, but speak, and do not keep silent, for I am with you. These are the commands that the living Jesus gave. <laughs> 